Welcome back to my channel. I'm Aslik, second year MBBS student. Today we'll try to sort of the biggest confusion after joining first year, that is books. When I joined first year, I had no idea which book to buy, and I also came from a non-medical family, so I had no family members to ask. I referred the internet. I asked my seniors, and uh, you know, I experimented a lot of books. So today we'll try to end all those confusions. I gave almost all my books to my juniors, so I don't have them with me, uh, so that uh, I cannot show you like this. Sorry about that. But I'll try to add the images and uh, also I'll put the link in the description so that you can buy them. And please watch till the end of the video because there's a surprise waiting for you. So before going into the individual uh, books, I'll try to explain some general points and then we'll jump to the books. So let's begin. Now let's start with some general points. Point number one, books are very important. Medicine is full of self study especially the first year subjects anatomy physiology and biochemistry these three are you know basic sciences so we have to put a lot of self study hours in them different types of books are there there will be standard textbooks like gold standard books then there will be reference materials there will be indian authors and there will be a lot of shortcut books for example these are my uh, second year subjects this is a standard textbook that is robins for pathology this is a shortcut book for pharmacology and this is an Indian author textbook of pharmacology. So, you know, we all use these different kinds of books. We mainly use, you know, shortcut books for uh, university examinations and all. And we use uh, standard textbooks to understand things. Learning for knowledge and learning for examinations. The idea is very simple. For examinations, you need fluffy answers. Uh, you need uh, all those uh, points and points and points. But standard textbooks like this, they are not meant for university examinations. They are meant to give you the knowledge. So they have a beautiful flow of information while, you know, most of the shortcut books, uh, they have uh, like clearly written in an exam format, like headings and headings and headings. So in your first year, I would recommend you try to understand things rather than mugging them up. Point number four, physical copy versus PDF. Almost all the textbooks are available in PDF format. Some textbooks you will read daily. Some textbooks you will read, you know, once in a week. Some textbooks will only refer to uh, get the idea clear or get the concepts cleared. And some textbooks you only refer when you have a seminar or an assignment to do. So you don't need to buy all these textbooks. You can go to the library and read them or you can use the PDF of such books that you won't read daily. So only buy those books which are very important to your preparation. Just don't go and buy every book out there. It's a pure waste of money. Point number five have a primary textbook. The meaning of having a primary textbook is that that book is which you refer every day. For example, for anatomy, you have uh, Vishram Singh or your BD Chagrishya, you have one as your primary textbook. You read that. Maybe, sometimes, some chapters or some topics may not be well explained in that book. It's okay. For that particular chapter, for that particular topic, you feel free to go outside your textbook, read it from somewhere or ask your friend or ask your professor, make a note of it and keep it yourself. So you have a primary textbook, huh? you keep it, you follow that. Whenever something is not beautifully explained in it, feel free to go out of it. Point number six, don't expect a book to be 100% complete. Now this is a very important point. You know, when the professors try to teach you something, a particular topic may not be present in your textbook. Don't think your book is useless. No, no book is 100% complete. So if your book doesn't have a particular topic or if it is not explained beautifully or if you can't find this particular terminologies you are explained, then go outside your textbook and read. Don't expect your book to be 100% complete. Point number seven, don't be afraid of the book size. Yeah, some books will be, you know, very large. For example, uh, this is a two volume book. Uh, this, this is around 1200 pages. So if you're afraid of the book size, you will not read it because this is one of the beautiful books of pathology. So book size is not something you have to be afraid of. Okay, so don't be afraid of the book size. Point number eight, using the index of the textbook. When there is a particular topic or a particular chapter, you need to find it. You know what most students do, they will go for the content page. They'll go for the content page and search here. Now this is something almost uh, all the students miss out. Actually every textbook, especially standard textbooks, they have a beautiful index. If you need to find a particular topic, for example, breast carcinoma, instead of uh, me searching breast carcinoma all over the pages, I can just go to the index and search for BBBB, press carcinoma, page number, and I can just go and take that page. So that is the best approach. So if you're buying a standard textbook or any textbook, if you cannot find a particular topic in it, just go for the index. Most of students don't do that. Point number nine, read the book before buying it. 
a book that works for me may not work for you for example when you have to decide between two books uh, for anatomy like vishram singh and bd chaudhary both are great textbooks so how how will you buy it it's very simple you have to go through the same topic in each of this textbook uh, take any topic like a particular nerve or a particular muscle you take bd chaudhary you take vishram singh and read from both and see which book is you know which book do you feel more happy to read go for that that's the best thing to do so before buying a book make sure you read it point number 10 book edition and book type edition matters for example for physiology and biochemistry you know changes are there updates are there so it is better to go for a newer edition textbook for anatomy it is okay if you go for an older edition when i say older edition the latest edition well and good or the edition just before that okay just go just don't go beyond that okay just don't go two to three editions beyond that it's very bad don't do that so whenever you buy a book especially a physiology and biochemistry try to buy the latest edition or the edition just before the last one don't go beyond that point number 11 read with affection not with suffocation adhaad ishtapettu padikya kashtapettu padikirathu we have to invariably face the university examination so either you can choose to study with affection or you can choose to study with suffocation i let you decide point number 12 ordering bulk you can either buy from online stores like amazon and flipkart or you can buy from the book stalls near your college if you and a batchmates like uh, five or 10 students are taking a single book then it is better to go to the book stall and order them in bulk so that you can get a maximum discount now let's get to the book list one thing to keep in mind is that i will tell a number of book okay just don't go and buy all of those that's a very bad idea don't do that you have to buy only the primary source for example when i say there is vishram singh and bd chaudhary for anatomy you don't have to buy two of them no when i say there are two textbooks what i mean is you have to go and read those two and then decide which book to buy okay that's it now let's get started let's begin with anatomy anatomy have lot of subdivisions gross anatomy embryology histology osteology neuroanatomy atlas and surface marking radiology etc let's begin with embryology embryology is a very beautiful topic most of the time in universities embryology may not have that much of a weightage uh, because of that most of the students won't read embryology but embryology is a very good subject because it gives you an idea how everything is formed and uh, based on that you can try to correlate a lot of uh, physiological or even pathological conditions books for embryology the books that we use for university exam preparations are ib singh's embryology or vishram singh's embryology both of these are good books you can choose any one of these for understanding embryology you can use langmans embryology or dr moose developing human i don't recommend buying these books these books are for your reference for example when you read vishram singh or ib singh or you don't understand a topic or you feel like the diagrams are not enough then you can uh, open the pdf of langman or dr moore's book and then go through it or when you don't understand a particular concept you can go to these books to understand things i hope that's clear coming to gross anatomy the standard textbook is grace anatomy actually there are two grace anatomy there is a grace big grace anatomy and the grace anatomy for students um, if you are interested you can buy the grace anatomy of students that's a good book it have a lot of beautiful diagrams don't buy the big ana- grace anatomy that you can refer it from the library that's all you cannot finish that book that's a huge book don't buy the big grace anatomy if you are interested then you can buy the grace anatomy for students for university examinations you can use bd chaudhary or vishram singh you can buy any one of them Uh, i need you to go through the books and uh, if you feel vishram singh is suiting you buy that or if you feel you're okay with bd chaudhary you buy that both are good you only need to have one with you other books to refer there is moore's anatomy it's a good book you don't need to buy it use the pdf you know when something is not explained in a vishram singh or when you don't understand something you can uh, go and refer these books now coming to atlas atlas is the book that contains almost all the images so we have a lot of atlas we have the netters atlas we have macmillan's atlas we have uh, the atlas then we have grace atlas there's a lot of books so which to buy there are mainly two type of atlas atlas with schematic representation like grace atlas or netters atlas or atlas with uh, cadaveric images like the rohan's atlas or the macmillan's atlas i put the links in the description whether to buy an atlas or not i think i let you decide that because uh, you can either use the physical copy of any one of this book or you can download the pdf and use it it's up to you anatomy is a subject where you have to learn the relations of a particular organ you have to know the structure you need to know the shape you need to see the orientation etc so images are very important in anatomy and atlas help you with that but in the olden time atlas were the sole source of images 
but now you know we have the internet we have 3d apps which shows the human body we have youtube where you can see animation of all the organs so atlas is not a necessary now so you can either buy an atlas that's okay if you buy an atlas well and good if you don't it's okay use the pdf of any of this whether it's a physical copy of an atlas or a pdf it's okay make sure you see the diagrams coming to histology you have ib singh's textbook of histology it's a good book for university examinations for understanding histology i would recommend histology at text and atlas don't buy histology text and atlas because it's a very costly book i would recommend you read the pdf you can buy the ib singh instead now histology textbooks are not those books that you read daily in most of the colleges the batch is divided into a batch b batch c batch etc you know we go to the histology lab in a batch wise fashion so if you are in a batch and your friend is in b batch you are going to histology lab on monday your friend is going to histology lab on tuesday then you both can share and buy a book because you won't read histology every day so you can uh, try things like that uh, so you can bring the histology textbook in the monday and your friend can bring the histology textbook in the tuesday the same book so you can share the textbook so you can try uh, things like that but don't do that with primary book like vishram singh you cannot do that because you have to read it every day osteology surface anatomy radiology for osteology and surface anatomy i used vishram singh there is an another book that is uh, a halim's textbook of surface anatomy and radiology i won't recommend buying it you can refer it from the library or you can use the pdf i used vishram singh in vishram singh whenever they explains a particular bone all the features are explained in the textbook itself general anatomy textbook and now i think vishram singh have a general anatomy and bd chowdhury she also have a general anatomy textbook i didn't buy a general anatomy textbook but i used to read the pdf of it so it's up to you you can either buy it or read the pdf the importance is you have to read coming to neuro anatomy you have vishram singh's neuro anatomy you have ib singh's neuro anatomy and chowdhury she also have a neuro anatomy textbook now i used vishram singh you can use any of these three just go through them and decide which fits you now the standard textbook in neuro anatomy is snell's neuro anatomy it's a beautiful book whenever you read neuro anatomy and you find that something is so difficult you don't understand it then i recommend you go for snell's neuro anatomy uh, i won't recommend buying it um, you can use the pdf that's enough when you read a neuro anatomy topic and you don't understand something then you can refer to snell's neuro anatomy it's a beautiful book let's get to physiology standard textbooks in physiology are gaitan and gano uh, most of students buy gaitan i have read them both they both are very beautiful uh, gano is actually a review textbook so when you have some uh, knowledge in physiology then reading gano is much better if you have no knowledge in physiology then the best thing to start is gaitan itself for gaitan you have an international edition and a south asian edition you can buy the south asian edition and keep the pdf of the international edition i think one or two topic is not present in the south asian edition like smooth muscle contraction or something but it's okay you can buy the south asian edition and whenever something is not there you can refer to the pdf of the international edition because international edition is very costly so buy the south asian edition you can either buy gaitan or gano it's your choice i let you decide that coming to indian authors we have uh, gk pal ak jain sembulingam and uh, geeta a lot of textbooks are there gk pal is a good book but it's a lengthy book so if you are buying gaitan gyanong or gk pal then you have to start reading very early because the books are lengthy and one reading alone will not suffice most of the students you will buy the book you will keep it aside and at the end of examination you will take the book no gaitan and gyanong and gk pal you cannot complete them in one or two months because they are a lengthy book in most of the time classroom slides are more than enough for physiology now let's see some other books in physiology costanza physiology uh, many of you may have not heard about this book it's a beautiful book um, actually it is written by someone who have uh, grown up by reading uh, gaitan and all it's a beautiful book and the thing about this book is everything is beautifully explained in it um you can find the pdf of it i don't recommend buying it because it is not oriented in the university exam fashion but when you read a textbook and you don't understand something you can uh, refer questions or for clearing the concepts another textbook is boron's physiology it's a beautiful textbook like in the introduction they have said that uh, this book may seem so bulky but it is full of diagrams and like they said it's full of beautiful diagrams so boron and costanza are i don't recommend them to be your primary textbook whenever you know you need to you don't understand something you can go to these textbooks and uh, learn from them now coming to practical physiology i never bought any practical physiology textbook i only used my lab records so what i will recommend is you have to go to a practical sessions and see how the session is been taken by a professor and then decide whether you need a textbook or not a point to note about physiology textbook is that there are standard textbooks and in the notes i already told you about the gaitan ganon etc and in the notes like gk pal ak jain simplingam etc now all these books there is a difference what is the difference the flow of information the standard textbooks present information in a beautiful manner they present information so that you understand things 
but the indian authors they present the information so that you write them in the examination like that their, their writing style is focused for university preparation for example dighton will say na uh, a number of factors influence this process that is what dighton says but when you take gk pal uh, number of factors are responsible for this and they will write like 1 2 3 4 5 6 and they just right do you understand that? they'll make a list of the factors in the notes will be like this but when you read standard textbooks everything will be a paragraph so you have to read from it understand it and then write so standard textbooks are not that university friendly in the notes are but if you need to enjoy the subject you need to read standard textbooks uh, the best plan or what i did is i have read uh, textbooks like gaitan and gyanam i mainly read gyanam my my friends used to read gaitan so what i do is i read uh, gyanam till the like around 7 uh, to 6 months and just 3 to 4 months before the examination i switch to an indian author or you know shortcut books where i can prepare for university so that's the best approach of physiology and remember that most of the time uh, your uh, classroom slides are more than enough for the preparation of physiology coming to biochemistry the standard textbook is harper and also you have vasudevan i used vasudevan for university preparations and whenever i don't understand anything i read harper for example like uh, vitamins or regulations of certain biochemical reactions in the body when i don't understand it i go and read harper if you need to enjoy biochemistry as a science then you can read harper and if you need to uh, score marks then you can read vasudevan another textbook that i read was dr s gupta's biochemistry textbook i only use it for one topic that is metabolism of lipids and that is lipo lipoprotein metabolism etc it's a beautiful book uh, that lipoprotein is beautifully explained in it so the reason why i put that example is that uh, sometimes our primary book that vasudevan may not be able to explain a particular topic so feel free to go outside and read another textbook okay so the textbooks in biochemistry are harper vasudevan s gupta and there's also lipping got lipping got textbook is also there uh, just keep them in your mind when you don't understand something from your primary book go outside and read so take away point is you need to have a primary source of information that is your primary book where you depend on majority of time and whenever you don't understand anything feel free to go outside and read i told you there's a small surprise right the surprise is i have been telling about pdfs and pdfs and pdfs and i know it is uh, not that easy to find pdfs to download so in my telegram channel i have added all the links to the channels where you can download the books you need so feel free to check it out also follow me on instagram and finally thank you for being here i have only one request to make and that is please share this video with your friends if this helped you thank you for being here take care